Hello everyone, my name is XX the Dark Gamer Lord XX, and today I will start my series for an introduction to playing with Minecraft mods. This series assumes that you are able to install mods and have knowledge of the general Minecraft gameplay loop, however it does not assume that you know anything about playing modded Minecraft. As the first video in the series, I will be introducing you to the most important and most powerful mod type at your disposal, itemless mods. This guide is made using EMI as is my preferred mod for this function. However, most of these mods follow the same standard appearance and functions, including the original Not Enough Items, or NEI, its continuation Just Enough Items, or JEI, and its offshoots Roughly Enough Items, or REI, and EMI, which doesn't stand for anything. The basic concept of these mods is to be a guide for how to create and use any item in the game through crafting, smelting, smithing, or any modded forms of item creation usage. First, we'll go over the search function. Larger mod packs may have over a thousand pages of items. As an example, I will be using an obscure vanilla item not many may know how to craft, a conduit. Now here is the first issue. We have a mod installed that has other items with conduit in their name. While I may know what I am looking for, this is a great way to show how to search by mod names. By typing the at symbol, we can search by mod ID. Usually this is just the mod name, however this can also be obtained by turning on advanced tooltips using F3 plus H and hovering over an item. By hovering over a vanilla item, we can determine that the mod ID for vanilla items is Minecraft. Now to search for vanilla items with the name Conduit, we can type in at Minecraft Conduit. And now we have narrowed down our search to just the item we are looking for. This same process also works with item tags with a hashtag or pound sign rather than the at symbol. However, this is a more advanced topic and I will not explain it in this video. Now let's view the recipe for a conduit. First, hover over the item in the search menu, then either left click on it or press R. As a side note, every keybind in modded Minecraft is rebindable to almost any key on your keyboard. Now we can see the recipe requires a heart of the sea and eight nautilus shells. If we have these items in our inventory and are in a crafting table, we can press the plus sign to automatically insert the ingredients into their respective slots. Any items you do not have are highlighted in red. Depending on the mod, the items will either partially fill the crafting table or the mod will refuse to let you try. If you are trying to craft a recipe that requires a 3x3 space, but not at a crafting table, you will not be able to fill the recipe. While the autofill does not work with most of these, this same recipe system works with smelting, smithing, potion brewing, nearly any modded item creation, and if you have add-ons, additional features such as mob and dungeon loot, villager trades, ore generation, and even multi-block construction. Now on the other hand, let's say you have a material, such as string, and you want to find out what it can be used to make. For this, you can hover over an item, then right click or press U. Using the same menu as before, you can see all the recipes this item is used in. Here we can craft wool, which we can now open the same menu on it the same way. Let's go back one step, you can press backspace. This also works for viewing the recipe for an item. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. The next episode is an introduction to energy and logistics. I hope to see you in the next episode.